Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to drive over Mount Rossa. And we're actually going up the hill now and we're in the Uaton area. So Mount Rossa starts in Uaton, which is in St. Catherine. Now, a lot of people believe that Mount Rossa is in St. Anne. But Mount Rossa starts in St. Catherine and you, you go down the hill in St. Anne. Okay, so this is the Uaton Health Center on the left. And we're going up Mount Rossa now, coming from the Uaton end. And now when you're driving from Spanish Town or Kingston to Ultra Rios, before the highway was built, if you're driving on the north coast, you would have to go over Mount Rossa. Now, as you can see, Mount Rossa, the roads are very narrow and they have actually been widened in some spots. But as you can see, it's a very narrow road. And basically, a lot of trucks, trailers that transport goods from Kingston, Spanish Town, Bogwalk, Linstead, Uaton, over to the north coast have to use this road. So you find a lot of times, I'm sure every person could tell a story about how long they had to wait on Mount Rossa because the road was blocked. This, this road, this hill is famous for that. So this is the famous Mount Rossa. And Bogwalk especially has a lot of manufacturing plants. So you're going to find a lot of trailers or leaving from that area and getting over to the north coast. This is a very busy road, but the highway was built as an alternate route, the Edward Siaga Highway, or some people know it as the North-South Highway. So it has helped a great deal with um, providing an alternate route to Mount Russell. But the government, the government is doing a very good job in renovating these roads and they have widened oh my god okay there is this is a truck coming in luckily it's not a trailer so basically what they do is when they're coming up to the corner it's a blind corner you cannot see around the corner so they blow so that's how you know you have to stop to allow the truck space to maneuver the corner and at certain points, the road was widened, but we're going over a hill, so there's just so much widening that can be done. So the, the highway was especially important as an alternate route to this road. And as you can see, gets very narrow at some points now like this corner you can't see what's coming around it till you're on the corner so that's why the trucks they blow when they're coming across now the major problem that occurred is when you have a trailer going up and a trailer coming down and they meet on one of these corners it's a nightmare a nightmare for them to navigate the corners at the same time and that's what usually causes the traffic jams you also have cases where these trucks break down blocking the road and then sometimes you have accidents and there is no once you're going over the hill there is no alternate route there's no road you can take on the left or the right to bypass an accident or a breakdown you either have to wait or you have to turn around and head back down As you can see, it's a solid white line, which means no overtaking. There is no space for anyone to come off the road. If you, if you come off this road, you're going into the hill on the left, or you're going over a ditch on the right.
as you go over the hill you'll notice there are a lot of bars I'm not sure why but there are quite a few I guess the area is popular for the for person stopping to have a drink the actual population of persons living on the hill it's not it's a small amount because it's a hill so there are only it's very hard to build a house and the terrain doesn't really allow a large residential population on the left you see some stones Unfortunately, it happens where when it rains, the, road, the, the stones get dislodged and they drop down into the road. This section of the road was recently widened so the trailers and large trucks can actually navigate it quite easily. And what the trucks would do is when, when they're coming down they have to come down very slow so they would stop at a corner like that and allow the cars behind them to pass. Uh, as you can see we have a, um, a line of traffic it's kind of slow going over that's because there is a truck ahead of us that has to take its time and go over the hill. It's probably full of goods so it's actually just crawling. Everybody has a story about being stuck on Mount Russell. Leave it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear it. So primary and infant school.
right guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe